What's going on guys, Moonrose here, and I'm bringing you a first place deck profile from Luxury Gaming by my good friend here, Chris Pear. Chris, what did you do today? Uh, I went undefeated in the Ultimate Cup, playing the goodest of boys, uh, Mirage Galgamon. Uh, it was very hard fought, and uh, thank you for all of my opponents, they were all great games and everything. And I'm here to show you guys the deck list that I used to go undefeated. That's amazing. Uh, so let's get right into the deck profile, man. Congrats. Seriously. Thanks, man. Uh, we'll start off with the eggs. It's just a simple four Wanamons. So that way we draw a card when uh, we attack and have a blue tamer in play. Um, I know some people like to play the uh, Demi Vmon for the plus 1k if you have eight cards in hand. But I still like the draw power to get cards. Uh, next, we'll go into our rookies. We have four of uh, EX4 Gaumon. It's the on play. We both draw a card, inherit. If a card's added to my opponent's hand from out of an effect, I gain a memory. Uh, this is honestly my favorite Gaumon because it gaining memory is just very powerful once you start building up your stack. Uh, next, I have four of the BT11 Gaumons is the Searcher. So that way we can dig. On play, reveal three, take a Galga, and one blue Tamer. And then for some odd reason, it crashes the rest for a blue card. Um, the Inherit does come up sometimes for attacking and bouncing a level three. It actually came up to me against a red hybrid. Uh, the next level threes, I only play three of BT13 Gao. Um, it's plus 1k Inherit if my opponent has eight or more cards in hand. Sometimes it comes up. Sometimes you want to get over to uh, 13k to swing over other Megas or survive security checks. Next, we have our level fours. I've got four of the EX4 Galgamon. Uh, when Digivolving, bounce a level three to my opponent's hand. This works really well in conjunction with the Gao to help gain a memory, to help choke my opponent more. Also, the Inherit is gain a memory, so it really helps with gaining memory and manipulating it. Uh, our next four of is BT13 Galgamon. This will help us play a Tamer if we don't already have a Thomas. So we can get our Thomases into play for free. Uh, once again, Inherit is plus 1k if they have 8 or more cards. So again, this helps get our our top end into a safe a safe range to help swing into security. Um, I do play a 1 of Lanamon as my hybrid for game. Uh, when Digivolving, I get to put a level 3 under it and gain Jamming. Um, Honestly, I haven't actually did not get a chance to hybrid per game at all, but it still comes up. The jamming's relevant. It helps you swing. Maybe go into another five in case you don't have a rookie. Uh, for level fives, I have two EX4 Mock Gows. I think this is the best Mock Gow. Returning a level four to my opponent's hand is pretty powerful, especially if I have the gain memory inherit, so that way it's essentially evoing for one. And then the inherit is when uh, attacking, if my opponent has eight or more cards in hand, unsuspend. So that helps really do unsuspends. Next, I play two BT11 Mock Gows. This gains blocker and plus 2k for every car four cards in my opponent's hand. And then the Inherit is when an effect adds a card to my opponent's hand, unsuspend this Digimon. Uh, the blocker has come up when I Digivolved a Mock Gow, then Digivolved to a Mega to help create this really strong blocker. The DP boost helps too to keep it alive. Uh, the Inherit is kind of iffy. Um, you can actually whiff on this, so if you if you are unsuspended and you digivolve into something that adds a card into your hand when you do your six, this does burn it, so you don't get to unsuspend. So times, sometimes you do want to just swing and then digivolve to your six to add a card to their hand to unsuspend. Um, I'm playing two starter deck eight arrow vmons. Uh, the jamming never came up, but the inherit of if I have eight or more cards, security attack plus one is relevant. That does help pressure your opponent when you have your mega stack and sometimes they don't expect you to do that many checks after unsuspending a bunch of times for level sixes our best level six is bt11 mirage gal as always when digivolving return level five to my opponent's security or if there is none returned by that effect return the top card of their security to their hand and then we gain a memory for every four cards in their hand so we're really gaining one or two memory but then also with Inherits, you're possibly evoing for free or really choking your opponent. Uh, finally, our other level sixes are BT13 Mirage Gao. 
Um, it has evade that actually sometimes comes up if you leave it standing. Uh, I can bounce a tamer to my opponent's hand, and then when a card's added to hand, I get to play Thomas H. Norton for free without paying the cost, so I get to play tamers for free to help fuel my mirages. Um, this has been a really good tempo play to bounce um, Memsetter tamers and choke them while doing it and setting up Thomas. Speaking of Thomas, we have three BT-13 ones. This is our mem setter, so we really do want to get him out as early as possible to set our memory. Uh, when we attack with a Gao or Gauga, we can suspend him to draw a card, so that way it helps us draw, get lots of draw power, trigger mirages, and inherits. Uh, we play three BT-4 Thomas. The on play draw one helps. It's like Sometimes you're brick it up. You can just play this for three, draw a card. The main effect is really good of if my opponent has eight or more cards, I can suspend this Tamer to unsuspend one of my Digimon with Gao in its name. So that's pretty much everything outside of Aero V and Lana. Um, this can be used defensively, offensively for multiple checks. And also we care about suspending our Tamers because we play three BT-13 Mirage Galgamod burst modes. We get to bounce a Digimon when we Digivolve gain a memory for every four cards and the when attacking is just nuts if my opponent has nine or more cards in hand i get to attack unsuspend bot deck cards so that really messes with their game plan because they'll lose cards that they might need and we get to gain memory so we get to play these thomases again uh this combos with this thomas because i can swing suspend thomas add a card to their hand and then do the when attacking so the more thomases we have the more we can do this and just keep doing swings. Uh, for our options, I have one, two, three, four blue mem boosts. This is just a good opener. Helps search through our deck and also grab pieces, gain memory. I play two full meteor impacts. This is a really good security bomb, bouncing a card to my opponent's hand. If I have Mirage Gal, it passes turn. Uh, there's been plenty of times where my opponent had a Mega out, and I'm like, okay. Bounce the Mega to your hand. Gain a memory for every four. I'll reset you while still having a rookie in the back. And then I have a one of Ice Wall because this is a still very powerful restricted card. Um, it can really help save you a turn. That way your opponent won't want to attack you. Otherwise, they'll lose memory. And I mean, in security, gain two memory could pass a turn. Um, throughout this entire tournament run, I played one yellow deck. I played three blue flares, an old force... Uh, a door brick and a mirage mirror in the semifinals, and then red hybrid in the finals. Uh, wow. Moonrose, do you have any questions or anything? No, uh, I think you got into it really well. Would there be any changes that you would want to make to the deck? Um, honestly, I think this deck list is pretty solid. I actually like all of these ratios, and it's really hard to cut cards or add things. Um, I know a lot of people play like one of this mirage, but it honestly did work a lot of times in mm -hmm. matchups as the first mirage and then just build another one so yeah. everything did its job and kind of earned its place that's uh, awesome do, man yeah uh i do want to shout out luxury gaming for uh having me on the team and everything thank you guys so much um and that's it you guys all enjoy and have a good night awesome chris thank you so much yeah like uh chris said shout out to luxury gaming uh shout out to metamats uh, and shout out to uh, Dueling Guard. Um, everyone's amazing, uh, and we're we're excited for you guys to keep on watching the content. And I hope you guys have a good night. Enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.